Welcome to Project Me TV. I'm Tiffany Carter. Today I'm teaching you my famous straddling method. This is how to go from employee to entrepreneur without absolutely freaking out and having a panic attack. And I know because I did it. I was in a very, very fast paced, intense corporate career in pharmaceutical sales. And I knew that it just wasn't for me anymore. Great environment, amazing to learn in. It's how I got a lot of my sales skills that I have today, but it was time to get out. And we all know when that time is. It just, when it doesn't feel right, we're not inspired. We just can't do it anymore, right? If it's an abusive environment, I just wanna say, this might not apply. That's something that you would need to leave rather quickly. So it's not for that kind of environment. It's one where you just know it's time to make the shift. So this is what I did and this is what I teach my clients to do. So the straddling method is when you're doing your side hustle. You start what it is you wanna do on the side. Yeah, is it extra work? Are you working your regular day job and then having to do this on the side? Yes, but you just have to keep reminding yourself it's just up front. It's just temporary, it's just for a little while, and it'll be worth it. What you wanna do is you wanna build up enough momentum, enough clients, enough sales, where you can depend on a regular income for at least six months. You wanna match or come close to matching your salary from your corporate job, right? You wanna make sure that when you're transitioning, you kinda of slide into entrepreneurship versus jump into it. There's a very small percentage of people that have success when they like jump ship into it, right? Maybe they have an inheritance, so they have, a, you know, they have that backup plan or they have a spouse that, you know, is willing to support them. So they have a circumstance like that. So when you're like, you know, scrolling on Instagram or looking online and you're hearing about entrepreneurs that do that and took a leap, you don't always know what's going on behind the scenes to make them feel safe to do that. And the reason I teach the straddling method you never want to have that desperation and that money noise going on. What happens is if you leave out of your like regular steady job and into entrepreneurship too quickly without having that regular clientele and income coming in, it'll mess with your mind. You could kind of try to play it off and have that like false confidence and think you're pulling it off. You're not. People can smell desperation even behind a computer screen. People can smell it. It just is. When you are okay and you feel good about money and you have enough money to pay the bills and your side hustle's just bringing in extra, it's gonna attract more opportunities and more money to you. It's just how it works. But if you're like, oh my God, I need that next client. I need to sell 25 you know, shirts this month or I'm screwed you have a different energy, you're not creative, you're not light and open about it, then you even start resenting entrepreneurship and hating your job. It doesn't work. I've seen people quit and give up on their dreams so early just because of this. You know where I see this a lot, you guys? I see it a lot in network marketing. So people wanna use network marketing, which I'm a big believer in, in order to start a business, to gain extra income, and they get really excited because maybe they like, you know, start making their first thousand a month, and they're like, well, if I just quit my job, my primary job, and focused all my time in this, you know, I could be like, well, you know, whatever the company is, like the double diamond person and making, a million a year. Yeah, you could be that person and making hundreds of thousands, a million a year, but you're not yet. And that's too early to jump ship. Now, if you are matching your current income and it's consistent, you just didn't have like, you know, one good month. It's consistent where it's reliable, then yes, that's the straddling method. Then you can slide into entrepreneurship. You can slide into making like your network marketing, right? Your full-time business. Other than that, keep it as a side hustle. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little longer because some of our primary jobs are more demanding than others. And it also depends how closely related your primary job and career is to your entrepreneurship. In my case, it was closely related. I was already in sales and marketing. So the, trans the transition was more smooth, a little more obvious. But if I all of a sudden went from like sales and marketing to wanting to make money as an artist, that's so different. And that's gonna take more time. It just is what it is. So you have to allow for that time. And the other thing I would tell you in doing this process, it's something that I didn't do because I can tend to be very stubborn and self-willed, is ask for help. If I had hired a coach much sooner, 
I would have gotten to multiple six figures much sooner. It took me five years. I was so stubborn. I thought in order to be successful, I had to do it myself. And I actually was in my own way. It would have made sense maybe even about like the first year or the second year in to have hired my coach. And I would have gotten way faster, way further in a much quicker period of time. So I'm just giving you that to think about because sometimes we think we have to do it all on our own plus our day job and all the things and it's just too much. It doesn't have to be that hard. You are allowed to make massive amounts of money and have it be fun and easy in case someone hasn't told you that. Thanks for listening today and I will see you guys soon.